I was watching the Gospel Music Stella Awards, of course, because I'm a musician myself. Me and my wife was watching it, and Lord had mercy. I thought it was an R&B concert. I thought it was a hip-hop concert. These days now, you can't tell hip-hop now from gospel music. I grew up on gospel, been playing the bass since I was a child. Gospel music back then was more spiritual and more holy. Women won wearing short dresses and showing cleavage. Now in the gospel music world, they showing cleavage, got on mini dresses, have been wearing no panties, not trying to disrespect you, but it's the truth. Men does not like the world. They should like no gospel to me. They've been living in times where they told a lot of gospel singers not to say the name Jesus, just say Lord and God. The gospel will not be the gospel without the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, son. He was the one who originated the gospel. So how can you leave his name out? The devil don't like that name because he knows there's power in the name of Jesus. Ah, I feel Jesus. He don't want that name to be mentioned. The devil ain't worried about doing it. When you talk about Jesus, them demons begin to tremble. Hallelujah. When you talk about Jesus, demons begin to tremble. When you talk about Jesus, death bows to Jesus. Hallelujah. Because death even knows that Jesus Christ is a resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. Demons bow when Jesus come around. Hallelujah. The sick will be healed. The dead can be raised if you choose to raise the dead. But he want to bring you spiritually back to life. This gospel music became too early. Now, I'm a bass guitar player. I was asked to sign contracts to play for certain choirs. I turned it down because it's too early. Half naked women up in the choir, shaking the hips. I thought I was in a club somewhere. I said, Lord, I can't play for this. It's too early for me. I watched that gospel study award. People were doing the rituals on the stage. Demonic rituals. A lot of those moves were satanic. Sometimes when they call the name of Jesus, they're talking about a, another Jesus. It's a counterfeit Jesus. It's not the real Jesus because the real Jesus is holy. The real Jesus will give you conviction and say, daughter, that dress is too short. Cover yourself. You're already beautiful. I don't want my daughter's dressing like Jezebel. I want my daughters to dress holy. See, when you got the real Jesus, he will give you conviction and say, son, I know you got a nice body and muscles, but put a shirt on. And when you come on the pulpit, and when you come in my presence, I don't want you bringing on temptation to the women. You're already handsome. It's about the inner beauty. The Holy Ghost will give you conviction. He's a teacher. He's a God. He will give you conviction. The Bible talks about it in 1 Timothy chapter number 2 and read chapter number 3 that women are supposed to dress in modest apparel. Not seductive. Living in days, women are they dressing seductive in the church. The man are they trying to get over pornography. He's trying to get delivered. So now he's coming in church with all these half-naked women. Come on. Lust. Too much lust in church. The man trying to get over pornography and you just making it worse because you ain't wearing no clothes. It's time for the women of God to dress holy. How can you say you're an evangelist and try to tell somebody about Jesus and you ain't wearing no bra? You're not being an example to the world. The church is acting just like the world. Now you wonder why folk don't want to come to church. I don't blame them. Playboys in the pulpit, pastors still pimping, begging for money. The time for the church is to be holy. For God should be holy for I am holy. A lot of preachers don't want to preach holiness because they're scared that folk going to stop giving money. I don't preach for money. This preacher, you don't got to hate. I ain't got no collection place. The Bible said, follow peace. Follow peace with all men and holiness and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. I watched that gospel silly award. I thought I was watching an R&B concert. For dancing like the world, half-naked men, half-naked women, that don't represent Jesus. Now you can't tell the church from the world. You can't tell gospel music now from hip hop. I play bass guitar, so I know I'm talking about it. It was too worldly. 
When the Bible said, be not conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The only one who was real, that I loved on there. I like to see she wide, at least she was coming. He was coming. Praise God. And I like him built him bigger. Now he was anointed. I like his gospel music. And Dottie Peoples. That's real gospel music there that brings the spirit. Gospel music that get people saved. Now all this worldly stuff, they got this new stuff, all this new message. And the gospel music now sounding just like the world. Folk dancing on the stage, doing satanic rituals, throwing up pyramid signs and Illuminati signs. They in witchcraft. That gospel stellar awards, I thought I was watching some R&B concert. Dancing like the world, had these half-naked women, put some clothes on, ain't that right? Thank you. It's too seductive. You're already beautiful. You're already beautiful and handsome. You don't got to dress seductive to get a man. Let a man love you for yourself. Now you wonder why folk don't respect the church. Because the church is too busy playing around and trying to be like the world. The world is not stupid. Folk out here not stupid. They know that the church people are playing around. Not everybody, somebody is real. But by a lot of the folk in the world already know that a lot of folk play in church. That's why they don't come there. They're like, wait a minute, how can you tell us about Jesus and you doing what we doing? The Bible declares in 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, and go to 1 John chapter 3, verse 15. It says, love not the world. Other words, don't love the cigarettes. Don't love the drugs. Don't love the crack. You don't need makeup. You're already beautiful. There's a lot of demons in makeup. A lot of them wear them high heels to get high-minded. And they're wrong with looking beautiful. A lot of you became high-minded. A lot of them think you're too fine to get saved. So when you get saved, you got to be humble. God don't respond to a high-minded spirit, an arrogant spirit. So I see folk come to church high-minded, arrogant. They think they're they they going to a club. Oh, hallelujah. Touch them in the ambulance, Lord. Touch the people in the ambulance. Heal them. Certain churches, I don't even go at it when they invite me. Because they're too high-minded. When they're up there trying to find another woman's husband, instead of trying to get her own husband, she up there chasing after another woman's husband. It's adultery. I'm talking about in church this is going on. They come in there, seductive, high-minded. The Bible hates a high, God said God hates pride. The Bible said one of the six things that God hates is a proud look. Proverbs chapter number 6, verse 16. A lot of ministers became arrogant too, high-minded, because they have a nice suit. Ain't nothing wrong when they wear a nice suit, but stay humble. This is, not, this is not a contest. Who got the best suit or who's the best church? This is about Jesus and giving Jesus all the glory, not me. All the glory goes to God. Everybody don't come to church for the right reason. You are the trying to win a popularity contest. Instead of giving God the glory. And they're doing witchcraft in the church and all this evil voodoo. Got Jezebel's sleeping with the pastor. I'm going to say it again. You got Jezebel's in the church up there sleeping with the pastor. God see what you're doing. God said repent. You don't be having no affair with another woman's husband. Get your own husband. The Bible said in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, let every man have his own wife. It didn't say another man's wife. Honey, we living in days, they have been cheating on their wife in the church. You can't tell me about Jesus and you cheating on your wife and you ain't living right yourself. You got to get the mope out of your own eye before you cast the beam out of someone else's eye. Get your own house in order before you preach to somebody. Come on, come on, come on. I know we're not perfect, but say, Lord, it's me, oh Lord. Hallelujah. That stand is in the need of prayer. Thank you, Jesus. I want my heart to be right with God. I don't want to play church. If you want to make it, don't fake it. No, we're not perfect. Yes, we make mistakes, but I want to be real. I don't want to play church like a lot of folk play in church. Lord, I want to be real. If you want to make it, don't fake it. To me, fake folk going to church every Sunday. And you are the past not trying to invite folk to your church, but you ain't living right. Is the love of God in your church? When you love Jesus, you love each other. You don't be racist. You don't discriminate. When you love Jesus, you don't kill each other. 
Well, you love Jesus, you pray for each other. And you don't be jealous of one another. There's too much jealousy going on among our own race. Why are we so jealous of one another when we already are blessed people? I'm happy when God bless my brothers and sisters. I don't get jealous when God bless somebody else, when God can bless me too. The Bible says jealousy is crueler, just as crueler as a grave. Let's get our act together with the Lord and pray one for another. God bless you. We thank God for the young men who came to God. We got to encourage the young people. A lot of young men don't have fathers. Some of you might have been foster children. We got to encourage the young people. Be wondering why they depressed and join gangs. We got to encourage the young people. Encourage them to Jesus Christ and to the young women. I had the older mothers encourage the young women. I don't take advantage of no girls. I ain't no playboy, I ain't no pimp. I already love my wife, Lady Priscilla. I don't believe in cheating. I'm scared of God. Honey, I'm scared of God's wrath. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of an angry God. I want my soul to be saved. Hell is real. I got to warn you about hell. Not condemn you to hell. It's to warn you that hell is real. I, Isaiah chapter 5 verse 14. Somebody came to my YouTube and said, well, we got hell here on earth. Don't be, uh, don't be deceived. I didn't say we don't have hell here on earth. But hell here on earth is heaven compared to hell down there. Honey, I don't go to no hell. Most of our friends got shot in the hood back in the Bronx and back in Harlem where I was born at. I didn't preach to many funerals. Tomorrow is not guaranteed to you or me. Not the next moment is guaranteed to you or me. When the body go back to the dust, the soul is going somewhere. Is it heaven or hell? Ain't no prayer to talk. We all gonna stand before God one day. Our life is gonna be played on the screen. Everything that we do here on earth is being recorded in the record book in heaven. Honey, I want my heart to be right with God. Lord, forgive me for my sins. All one day this world is coming to an end. You can see we're living in perilous times. The world has gotten worse. Our youth have become more wicked and more evil. There's more devil worshipers now than it was back then. But one day, we all gonna stand before the real master. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We can see all these floods going on in the world. That's not mother nature, that's God's nature. Ain't no such thing as Mother Nature. Mother Nature is not even in the Bible. When that flood came back in the days of Noah, that was not Mother Nature. That was God's nature. Stop giving credit to Mother Nature. When you see all these floods and tornadoes and hurricanes that's going on, it's a sign of the time that Jesus is coming again. The stage is being set for the Antichrist. The mark of the beast is already in the world. Jesus is on his way. And God said, my people, be ready. I'm coming back at an hour that you think not. Don't be left behind. The Antichrist is a deceiver, but Jesus Christ is my savior. Yeshua Hamasia. Living in days, you can't tell a man from a woman. Honey, you better have some background checks before you get married. Because now you got transgenders, it's scary. It's scary. Men getting sex changes. They ain't the kind of change that God was talking about. Because if God wanted man to be a woman, God would have made him to be a woman. No, God gave man a woman. He didn't make him to be a woman. Come on. Children needs a mother and a father. Not two men. Not two women. Two women cannot make a baby. Two women, two men cannot produce a baby. God ordained for a man and a woman to get married and be fruitful and multiply. That's not gay bashing, it's the truth. Somebody asked me, what do, what do God loves homosexuals? Yes, he do, but he hates the homosexuality. But he loves them, but he hates the sin. Just like God hates my mess. I'm straight, but I do wrong, God hates it. That's why I must repent and say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. I want my heart to be right with God, not just the suit. The devil can wear a suit. The devil come handsome. The devil come pretty. The devil know what kind of woman you like. He'll send you a fine, pretty woman. He'll send you a, a tall, handsome man so you can marry them and get your heart broke. But can nobody love you like Jesus? I'm going to say the prayer of faith. We thank God for the young men and young women who came to Jesus. Lord, save that drug addict who's tired of being on drugs. 
God can save a drug addict and get him out the attic and make him a preacher. God can save a pimp and make him a preacher. God can save a drug dealer if he call on the faith healer, Jesus Christ, and make him a man of God. God can save a prostitute and make her a prophetess. I know many of you are tired of being depressed. You don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. Woo! Hallelujah! And getting the Holy Ghost is better than taking a drug overdose. God got something better for you. That's the joy of the Lord. God bless you. You can have a conversation with God right where you at. And say, Lord, come into my heart and save me. Forgive me for my sins. Wash my sins away. I believe you was crucified. You died on the cross on the tree of Calvary. And God has raised you from the dead. Save me, Lord. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the remissions of sins, and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Because he's coming again. Everything that Jesus said is going to happen is happening now. He's coming again. And one day God will destroy the wicked. The world has became too wicked. But there's those who love Jesus. We're in this world, but not of the world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God will separate the wolves from the sheep. God will separate the saints from the apes. The goats will be on the left. And the sheep will be on the right. And whoever name was not found written in the Lion's Book of Life shall be cast in the lake of fire. If your name is in the book of life, you will have eternal life to be with Jesus Christ. God bless you. We're praying for you all around the world and in YouTube land. Shalom. Shalom. Thank you, Lord Jesus.